everybody. It's Peggy Day here on YouTube. Okay, guys, it's Saturday and uh, I just got off work. I think I have a double feature tonight. This one I hear is my 1978 uh, first release of the uh, Tamiya uh, Lancaster, the, B the special Lancaster, the Dam Busters. Now, um, this kit right here, folks, um, I, I added this on as just a, just a complimentary to my uh, completion of a Lancaster on my RRF Barber Group build I just done. And uh, so I, I promised Warren and a lot of you great fellows out there, I'll throw this in too. So, and uh, who knows next, I'll bring a big 133 scale out next, you know, and, and show that too. There's another complimentary uh, added on feature to the, uh, the video. Okay, folks, uh, this thing here is. Uh, I'm not certain they make this anymore, though. But I'm, I'm learning to find on eBay. They're, they, they always show up from time to time. I imagine they probably still are pretty much on production, but a lot of hobby shops out here don't stock them. And uh, there's no, no demand for them, I imagine. I don't know, but it's such a beautiful airplane she is, folks. And uh, I got this 1978. I bought it uh, at Archer's Hobby World. Archer's Hobby World, folks, was back, was back then... It was a, a mail order house. It was actually the world's first mail order house, long before the squadron got on there. And uh, Bob Archer was the owner. He's a great Englishman from across the pond. And uh, him and his wife, Bonnie, they uh, they opened up a business together and by by introducing vacuform kits and also a lot of kits like Airfix, Frog, Pegasus, and a lot of the, the great English kits out there. They're not actually shy. Um, just displayed in hobby shops in, in the domestic variety of the United States of America. And of course you can buy his kits by catalog only. You just all you gotta do is send a letter and a money order and a part number and a, or the kit number and he'll send it send you a kit as fast as he can. He usually arrives about three or four days back then. But anyway I bought this from Hartress Hobby World and uh, when I first came out I was kind of uh, really excited about it. I was getting pretty used to the 1963 release of the Ravel 172nd scale dam buster that made. That kit is very, very inferior compared to what's out there today. But back then, it was like the 1956 Airfix Lancaster. It was a Lancaster and much appreciated for us modelers. And uh, I still don't, today I won't turn my nose up to the old Ravel one. It has capabilities. It's more or less a gimmick model. The flaps work, the ailerons, uh, the rudders work. And also, um, planning gear retracts as a feature. And, um, pure gimmick model back in the 60s and 50s. To get around the gimmick, it'd be a pretty decent kit. Okay, folks, we're going to swing over here and take a look at uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Guy Penrow Gibson, his lead ship of the, of the squadron leader for the uh, 617 squadron. And uh, Richard Todd is not in the cockpit, though it's probably uh, Guy Pedro Gibson. Uh, the kit comes with uh, three figures, I believe, or four figures. One standing up figure, you give the V for victory. The other two are, are, are crewmates. You got the pilot, the radio operator, and also the bombardier. And we'll bring the camera, we can zoom in a little bit, take a look at that bombardier. Now, this is an old kit, folks. I had this since 1978. It's, it's about as pristine as the day I first, first built it. You got all stowed away in the box, folks, at the time capsule. Those boxes, are, I highly recommend that. If you guys, if you can find the room, you know, get boxes, put your kits in your boxes and get done. But you got nowhere to display them. You, they serve two purposes. They deserve the model. And plus, it makes good transportation to go to model shows and such. Okay, fellas, I know the camera's pretty friendly. It's good to be here last night and the day before. So, we'll swing over and take a look at uh, Mr. Mr. Gibson over here. Okay, folks, you got to excuse me out zooming out too much on here. I'm trying to catch the airplanes entirely. This is a 1978, to me, a 148 scale Lancaster. The first Lancaster of its type known anywhere, even today, in quarter inch scale. Now, I heard the Hong Kong models has got a 132nd scale uh, Lancaster they're bringing out. It's all ejection molded. It's going to be a costly, costly kit, like the rest of them they brought out. And uh, it's highly recommended if you got the money. And to me, that's kind of stretching my uh, my ditty book pretty much. So, therefore, I just uh, I feel comfortable buying anything from what's out there up to a hundred bucks or so, you know. And sometimes they get a little wild, 
and I go ahead and uh, shoot the moon, you know, and get all, all, all I can buy what I got in my pocket. Anyway, folks, uh, she's getting old, and uh, she's pretty well pressed in shape as the day I had it. You can see how my hand, how big my hand is compared to it. Uh, Warren Branch has got one. Yeah, I think he did a video of that. And once in a while, you take a good look at the eagle's nest, you peer over his shoulder while he's looking at you in a camera, you may see the lake on top of his mobile carrier. And uh, this is a big airplane, folks. The wingspan of this thing is about, uh, oh, way over 25 inches. I think about 28 inches, somewhere around there. And uh, it's a sizable airplane, so it requires a lot of room to display it. And uh, so this model technology back in 1978 would tell me and made this. There's a few details of, of this kit that was never presented, uh, such as, as the Airfix one. You know, the Hasagawa one and uh, the other one's coming out there, one seventy second scale. So from 148 scale, I was a very, very happy camper when I, get, when I got this bird. And um, I might just get me another one one of these days if I ever take the notion. And uh, it's a good kit, folks. This model nowadays has a lot, a lot of capability. There's a lot out there. You have to market parts to this model here, guys. There's a lot out there. I mean, there's photo etch out there. There's decals. There's resin parts for it. You name it, it's there. And uh, I wish I knew how I had all that stuff. I built this. I just built this right out of the box. I think I built this aboard ship a couple times, and I minus the wings, and I didn't glue the wings to the fuselage or anything like that. I think I, what I did, I took the wings from the wings bar and shipped the wings separately from the fuselage. I sent it back home. I got home from Lee, I finished it up. I believe I finished it up when I came home uh, uh, from leave in 1979, around Mar March of 1979. And um, I finished it up there and took it away in the box and uh, kept it in my home. The whole Ruthie took care of it for me and everything. Yeah, it's getting old, folks. I think I used. Um, I believe they were Model Master paints I used on this. No, 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 they weren't. They only had Model Master back then. It was um, Pactra. Now I remember. Pactra flats. They're kind of big old flat, fat jars. And uh, they were darn good paints. You know, it's too bad Pactra went out of business. I remember back in the 1960s, they had a whole selection of, of military colors. You name it, they were, they were, they were there, everything. RAF, Luftwaffe. Japan, Japanese, uh, United States of America, everything was there. Yeah, guys, this is a very beautiful kit to put together. Like I mentioned earlier, it's got a lot of a lot of uh, add-on capabilities. We added this kit out of the aftermarket range, and it requires lots of room to display it. So I brought it out, fellas, um, just uh, as a complimentary added feature to my completion of my group build, and. Uh, It's getting old, fellas, you know, and it's getting old like me, like everybody else, and uh, I can see a little bit of dust on them, how it got there, probably fell in there, had, had a sit last night. <sighs> yeah, it's out there, you know, no big deal, dust gives it age. Anyway, fellas, I think I paid, uh, I think I paid $14 for this, no, I didn't, I paid 20 because uh, Mr. Archer didn't uh, honor uh, military um, discounts such as no federal tax. So I paid with tax and everything and shipping, I think I paid around $20. Now, there ain't no 20 bucks no more, fellas, I guarantee you that. These things run 100 bucks on up and they get higher and higher all the time. If I ever get one of these, I just may try out eBay and see how good I can do that. So like me, that organization, the nothing that no place don't have. Yeah, folks, this is a very beautiful airplane, and uh, it makes a very beautiful collection of 148 scale. Okay, guys, we'll get back to me. We'll finish up this video here. Here I is. Okay, guys, uh, what I'm going to do right now, uh, the next feature is going to be uh, Bob Baskin uh, has got got my attention on it when he commented on my uh, 
on my Winecaster, uh, uh, the, the final reveal, and uh, his condolences for my wife, which I'm going to see after I get this thing. I'm going to start unloading this on YouTube, and now I'm going to take off the sick bay and see my woman. She's at rehab right now, fellas. And uh, so they're going to try to get her to move her arms pretty good and get around a lot better, and they, they kind of evaluate how she is and everything. And So it's come together pretty good, folks. Just one of those things. We get old things happen, you know. It happens to everybody. I was a young man one time. I don't think I'll ever get be old and stuff, you know. When you're young, you, know, you don't see stuff like that. But when you get older in life, I look at the years behind you, then you know you're getting up there. And uh, so anyway, folks, uh, the next uh, the next feature, next uh, video is going to be a new kit about the hobby shop yesterday. No, it was the uh, day before, Friday. No, no. I'm sorry, folks. My apologies. It was, uh, yeah, it was Friday. It was yesterday. I went down to the hobby shop, and I seen Russ down there at Spenny's Hobby Shop. I said, hey, Frank, guess what came in? I said, we got a, we got a wild weasel for you. A wild weasel, what, a F-105 uh, Thunder Lens Sled, Thunder Chief? Said, no, 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 no. We get to 132nd scale F-4 Phantom. Oh, man, I've been, get, well, I've been get, wanting to get one of those for a long time. So it retails for $53. You probably get cheaper at Amazon when they come out. The new kit just now came out, folks. So to my surmise, it does. It may have been out there long before I discovered it, but anyway, it's, it's new and it uh, makes a very excellent must. I'm going to do an inbox review of that and a video of that because I know this kit pretty good. This is a reboxing the old 1968 Riddell kit. And uh, so the paint schedule on is quite different, so I'm going to spy you fellas when I get off this video right here. So right now, guys, that's the next video that's coming up after this customary to my uh, final reveal of my, of my REF bomber build, the Lancaster. I'm going to go ahead right now, folks, and uh, upload this. While it's, up, while it's uploading, I'm going to go down to the sick bay and see my woman, see how she's doing. And uh, that'll be that. I'll come back and I'll, I'll load up the, uh, the F4 fan get that uploaded. You'll have two features tonight to watch, guys. So stick around. I'll be back. And I'd like to thank everybody again for your condolences for my wife and everything. It's very kind and very candid of you. And believe me, old, old Frankie Day appreciates it very much. And, and that makes me feel good. I'm kind of lonesome about my wife, you know. I got me my little dude over there, my little rat terrier. He kind of keeps me company. And he's pretty much puzzled, too, whereabouts his master's at. And uh, so dogs are funny. They get that way, folks. When you nurture a dog from the first time they're born until they're nearly deaf and and they're like you having your own kids, and they they know how you they they know how your nature is. They know when you're hurting or and everything else. So that's kind of like a seventh sense an animal has. Okay, folks, just rambling right now. It's time for you to get off here right now and get this thing uploaded. I'm gonna go ahead and see my wife and see how things are doing. And once again, thank you, folks, for everything. And uh, thank God bless. And please subscribe. We'll catch you on the next video. Bye, boys. Mm -hmm.